This is Minecraft by adding more blocks. <laughs> Today, we made every item in Minecraft that isn't a block into a block. From armor blocks to mob blocks to even structure blocks. Oh, wow, that's big. My goal is to try to craft and find all the new blocks in the game, but some blocks might not be so helpful and instead dangerous one place. So, what do these blocks do? And who's the block boss waiting for me at the very end? Stay tuned to find out. So, this right here is a wooden pickaxe block. A little money off camera. You guys already know. And when we place down the wooden pickaxe block, we get pretty much pickaxes as a block. Oh, gosh. Yep. And now we also have pretty much all the cobblestone we'll ever need. And also a new pickaxe, which is a super wooden pickaxe. And it's pretty much a good pickaxe. Nice. And we're not done there because this right here is an air block. And we can mine it. And now we literally have an air block. How did I get this? I don't know. But, you know, it's for the content. So, wait. Is that a water block? Okay, guys, I only knew of those two blocks, but I didn't know this was a thing too. What? So now we have a water block and an air block. Okay, and the final block that I was told that exists is apparently a villager. Do I just hit him? Oh my gosh, okay, that actually worked. What the heck? A villager block. Villager, but even more blocky. So with all those blocks shown, guys, welcome to Minecraft, but every single thing in the game is a block, including the villager block. Wait, what just happened? A friendly villager appeared. Oh, it spawns a bunch of villagers in their own little village huts. And what's in the chest then? Ow! That might be a block in the future, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Literally everything on my screen right now is potentially a block. So with that being shown, we gotta get to work. And the next block I actually wanna make is gonna be a bit of a weird one. But with nine dirt, we can make a dirt block. Caution dirty. Okay, I guess we'll place this down. Why not? Do I just place it right here then? Wait, what? Guard statue. Oh! Wow, dirt is very powerful, apparently. Um, there's a chest at the bottom. What do we get with that? It's like a temple loop. I mean, don't mind if I do, I'll grab the string. Oh, and maybe a saddle block is a thing. Okay, I'm gonna grab everything that can be a block, and we're just gonna see all the new things we can add blocks with. Wait, is the cow a block? <gasps> Cow's a block. Wait, what about the sheep? Sheep is probably a block. <gasps> sheep is a block! Okay, so cow block, do I just place this down? Oh, wait, that's a lot of cows. I guess now we have unlimited cow blocks. Nice! Oh, yeah, this is really creepy. What the heck? Oh, wait, what are you saying? Um, subscribe to the channel right now. We're almost to 4 million subscribers. That wasn't me. You guys are the cows. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to click that subscribe button. And now that we're done with all those blocks, before we go caving, let's get some wood. Guys, okay, everything is literally a block. Why is the tree a block? <laughs> Do I, like, throw this at something? <gasps> oh, it breaks down the trees! Okay, um, so that's how we get wood. We throw the tree blocks into the forest. Very nice. Oh, wait, what if armor's a block? Uh, gals, I need some leather, and I think the best way to get leather is probably doing this. Oh, wait, that won't work. Wait, how do I get leather then? Give me one sec, guys. I gotta think of some ideas. Guys, I figured it out. It's a bit weird, but when we put the cow in the crafting slot, we get one leather. So, to get all the leather boots I want to make a leather boots block, we got to go ahead and get our cow friends over here and literally do mass murder. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. 28 cow blocks gives me 47 leather. Let's get the leather boots going and then make literally our first armor block, which is still the weirdest block ever, but nine leather boots and huh? Leather helmet block from leather boots. Comment down below, huh? If you made this far in the video with a timestamp, but okay. Wait, what are we going to get with this? Damage resistance. Oh, so we just get resistance too. Not bad. I mean, can I, can I get something else? I mean, it's literally a block made out of leather helmets. No, we lost it. Uh, uh, new plan, guys. I'm gonna get some more helmets real quick and let's do this again. All right, cows, come down here where we're getting all the leather we gotta get. Oh, um, there's actually some skeletons over here. Does this work? <gasps> okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's get the leather. Come on, give me the leather armor. I feel like it's special. Yes, leather armor. Oh, protection too, leather armor. Okay, so we got our first full set of actual good armor. And oh, it's only helmets. Oh, that kind of makes sense now. Well, I guess we're now done with that. And ow, wait a second. So when I go inside of the villager house, we also have village blocks. Wait, is this straight up just a village I can place down? What happens if I just place it down right here? Oh, does nothing happen. Oh, something happens. The village block literally just spawns in an entirely new village. That is amazing. But now that I have nine bread, is bread block a thing or is that just hay? Oh, wait, no, it is. Bread block, carbo loading to the third degree. What does that even mean? Um, I guess I'll just place it down right here. Wait, scarecrow boss in dinner time? Wait, don't be bad. Don't be bad. Don't be bad. A scarecrow has been summoned. Wait, does he attack me? Oh, oh, okay. He fights. Okay, okay. It's a boss fight. What's up? What's up? Okay, I, I was not ready for this. Let's get the axe out. Okay, if I did not have the armor, then he would be doing a lot more. Note to self, do not place down the bread block. But just like that, that's gonna be it for the scarecrow boss. And we get some heart. 
hearts. Still warm. Oh. Oh, wait. I think I saw a heart block earlier when I was looking at the crafts. So I guess I gotta fight some more bosses and then we can make the heart block. Okay, so before we go caving, let me real quick see if there's anything else I can try to get a block of. Oh, wait. Pig? Pig! We now also have a pig block. I'll definitely try these out once we go caving. And um, it looks like the village I made kind of made a ravine thing. Well, let's go down real quick. We got our cave. Oh, and a creeper. Wait, is this a block? <gasps> Why is everything a block? I mean, it's the point of the video, but what the heck? Okay, so what does this do when I place it? You're the creeper block? Uh-oh, it's a creeper block. Nuke! Oh, no, wait, wait. Does that mean I'm the nuke? Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. I just landed on diamonds. I guess we ate the creeper block and became a creeper nuke. What the heck is this video? I mean, on the bright side, we did get a lot of diamonds, but we can't even mine the diamonds. We only have a super wooden pickaxe. Or actually, can we make a cobblestone block? Oh, I'm not sure if we already made this, but cobblestone block, a caution explosive. Can we blow up the diamonds? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, why does everything have to be a bomb? Oh, it worked. Okay, and just like that, I'll gladly take those diamonds. Don't mind if I do. But wait, zombie block. Yep, uh, well, why did I not guess that already? Okay, <laughs> don't need to worry about mobs when you can literally make every single mob into a block. And what does the zombie block do? Do I just place this? You woke up Brutus? Oh, it's Brutus. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, okay, Brutus is fighting us. No, creeper, creeper. Go, go, go away, go away. I'm not eating the creeper again. Oh my gosh, wait, he actually does pretty good damage. I'm gonna eat this golden apple real quick. Okay, okay, Brutus, we can talk this out, man. Look, 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 look. I, I can't die right now. I am trying to get all the blocks of Minecraft. There's like 100 plus blocks. And just like that, there goes Brutus. And we also got a thing. Wait, what, what the heck is this? Villager bombs? Um, do I just throw this? Oh, it's kind of like a weapon. So I literally just throw a villager and it explodes. Nice. Anyways, uh, let's get back to our blocks. Back to the crafting table. And I really want to keep seeing what limits we can push with this. So what about a wood block block? Oh my gosh, that actually works. Everything is a block, guys. Literally everything. Maybe we should find a new spot to place this down. I'll come back for the diamonds once we actually have a pickaxe. Give me one sec, guys. All right, I guess this might be a good spot right here. Do I just place it here? Oh, apples. Nice. I'll gladly take Oh, wait, what the heck just happened here? So the wood block block just becomes a giant tree. Nice. And now what should be the next block we do? Oh, wait, we haven't done the pig block yet. What does the pig block do? Technoblade, Jeffrey, and Lucky Pig? Hey, Technoblade. Oh, he dropped something. A mini accessorio. Wait, why is Technoblade pooping out mini accessorio? <laughs> this is Oh, wait, there was an accessorial block. Is this how I make the accessorial block? I mean, I should probably be getting iron and trying to get iron related blocks. Also, that auto cooks out is amazing, but let's, I guess, make the accessorial block and see what it does. Okay, nine accessorials, and there we go. Accessorial block, X blockio, more like. I hate that. Okay. Okay, so what does the accessorial block do? Is that it? Like and subscribe? That was a 10 out of 10 scam. Thank you, Technoblade, though. I appreciate it. Oh, wait, we also have the sheep block. Uh, I mean, I could do the sheep block real quick. Okay, what do, what do you do? Oh, okay, rainbow party. Woo! Oh, hello, Jeb and Bob. Ba. Oh, that's the sheep talking. Jeb, you made a great game. I do appreciate you. You know, uh, you, you can just vibe right there. Um, what exactly are you? Wait, could I block you? <gasps> I got the sheep block back. Nice. Okay, so there's an iron leggings block we can make, an iron sword block we can make. Oh, and there's also a wooden sword block we never made. Hold up. I guess let's make a bunch of wooden swords. Don't mind if I do. So with nine wooden swords, we get a wood sword block block, which is also a block. Apparently, swords can be blocks. What the sword doing? Okay, so what does this thing do? Oh, Ow! Thank you for the sword. I probably needed that for the boss, but press O for wooden sword ability? Oh, I have a little rotating sword now. Does it fight? Oh, that's sick. What the heck? Okay, so I can fight mobs now or whatever I gotta fight with this little buddy. Nice! And it doesn't stop there, though, because I'm pretty sure there's an iron one, too, so let's make all the iron swords we'll ever need. I still gotta get a lot more iron, so before we do that, I guess real quick, let's go get some more iron. Iron, thank you very much. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's get all the swords in, and there it is. Iron sword block. What the sword doing? Still, what the sword doing? Let's place it down. What does it do this time? A lot of iron swords again, and an even better sword. So, first time we got Unbreaking 3, and now we got Unbreaking 3. Really? Okay. On the bright side, we got a brand new ability again with the letter O, and what happens now? Hey, okay, so now we have three swords. Interesting. But now that we're done with that, not only do I want to make an iron pickaxe block, because we saw the wooden pickaxe, but I want to see what a torch block is, if it even is a thing. I don't know if this is a craft, but I guess let's try it. Oh my, it's actually a thing. A 
torch block to emphasize your shining personality. Do I just light? Oh, I'm going. Oh, and it lights up all the mobs around me. Nice. Anyways, let's go down real quick. Okay, new plan. We're now going to go for the next pickaxe, and that's going to be the iron pickaxe block, which is going to require us to get a lot of iron. So, uh, let's real quick get all the iron we can. Wait, wooden pickaxe mines as diamonds. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. That is amazing. Okay, with that being done, let's go ahead and grab that. So, nine iron pickaxes, and oh, there we go. The iron pickaxe block. I guess iron pickaxe block? What does it do? Oh my! Oh, that's what it does. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and there it is. The super iron pickaxe. Efficiency 10, unbreaking 10. So what does it do when I mine with this thing? Oh, it's a bigger box. Okay, so the pickaxes get bigger than I get from the blocks. Oh yeah, we're, we're definitely mining quick. And we also found diamonds right away. Yep, it is definitely diamond approved. And just like that, we have a 25 diamonds, which there's definitely diamond block blocks. But for the next thing we do, hmm, I have an idea. So something I saw earlier was actually how to craft a trident. And it's a lot easier than it sounds. Let me try it out real quick. I think it's just like this. Oh, and that works. Okay, so the Game Master's added a way of crafting a trident, but for a trident block, we need to get nine tridents, which shouldn't be too bad, right? No, we're one off. Are you serious? Okay, let's get a little bit more of iron. There we go. Okay, so nine tridents, and this should give us literally a trident block. You can almost hear the sounds of the ocean. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Maybe we should place this down in an ocean. I kind of want to see what happens when I do that, so real quick, let's go up. All right, I didn't expect a desert, but I guess we'll just place it down right here. Oh, it's like a little platform. So what does it do exactly? Exactly. Survive 44 seconds. Wait, what? Um, what am I looking at? Do I just fight it? Oh, oh, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Oh gosh. I don't have a water bucket. This is not good. Okay. Okay. Why are there so many? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. That's an older guardian. No, 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 no. Game, 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 game. Oh, they're gone. Okay. Okay. We survived. That was a bit more hectic than I expected, but I guess that was the trident block. Okay. Did that block drop anything? Oh wait, it did. Icer's trident. That's a really good trident. Nice. All right. Axolotl. I, I, I'm so sorry. I always kill axolotls for some reason. Okay, we're, we're done there. Also, that's a buffer fish right there. We don't trust those buffer fishes. Out of here. Okay, and because we're in a desert, I'm kind of curious if we can find the temple real quick and see if we can get the temple block. Oh, um... <laughs> What? I turned the corner and there's a desert temple right there. Okay. Okay. So how do I get a temple block? Is it? Oh, there it is. The desert temple block. Desert temple in your palm. I like that a lot. Let me get all that string. We can't make bone blocks because that's... Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to place that. Oh, that made me jump. I didn't even see what happened. But I think we just threw a temple inside of a temple. Okay, let's break that real quick. Wait, what's in the outside here then? Different loot, looks like. Oh, and yet again, the desert temple block. Okay, that first thing never happened, guys. Don't roast me. Oh, and diamonds. Nice. Golden apple. Uh, yeah, why not? We could never have enough golden apples. And another temple block. So we have two of them. Nice. Okay, so let's head up real quick and see what exactly this thing does. Oh man, it looks like we spawned a temple inside of a temple. Yep. That is definitely a temple inside of a temple. What if I just right click it? <gasps> I literally throw the temple. Oh, that's sick. That's actually a really cool animation. Not bad. Anyways, let's go back in the caves real quick. And uh, I think the first thing I want to make next is actually going to be with the string. And we're going to go ahead and make a string block. I guess we can do it up here. Why not? Okay, uh, string block. What do you do? Oh, a giant spider has been summoned. Oh, gosh, another boss. Are you serious? Okay, I don't, I don't even have food for this. Gosh, okay, okay. Uh, I just tried into your thing. Okay, we're doing pretty good damage with that. That is literally just a giant spider. We might get some more hearts from this, Ashley. Hey, and there we go. Okay, so we did get some more hearts. We got some cobwebs and some hearts. So real quick, let me get some more string because you can probably already guess what I'm going to be making next. And that's going to be a bow block. Now we have 10 bows. And with nine bows, we can make a bow, bow, bow block. You'll shoot your eye out. Wait, what does that mean? Should I probably take cover? Let me make some cover real quick before I place this down. And the only food I have is literally a golden apple. Are you serious? Okay, well, let's get that made. And I guess bow block. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh. I just threw a bow. Nice. The bow, bow, bow. This is a good throwback. Look at this thing go. It's a bow made out of bows, out of a block made out of bows. Oh, wait, and do we get arrows from this? Oh, wait, we can now get all the arrows we need for an arrow block. Guys, everything is feeding into each other. And I don't know what this one does either. I don't trust it. So get behind cover. Oh, look at all the arrows. Oh, wait, that's a big arrow. Oh my gosh. What the heck just happened? Probably gives me a good reminder to make a water bucket. Oh, wait, we found some more air blocks. I still got to get to using them. But before we do that, let's go down again. And for our next thing we made, I was thinking something I saw earlier was actually a book block. So to make a book block, I'm going to need some more sugarcane and some more cows. So to get that, let's go up 
up real quick, get all the sugar cane we can, and then place down the book block. Ignore all the counts, but we got all the books we needed. So with nine books, we get, oh, there it is, the book block filled with knowledge. Oh, okay, so I guess I'll just place this down and see what happens. Wait, don't tell me this is another boss. Okay, yet again, book boss. Why, why did I not make armor? I should make armor next. I should definitely make it armor block. Why am I doing? I am gonna die. Okay, new plan. We're trying out this bow, bow, bow. Go on, bow, bow, bow. Oh, yes, it's doing a good job. Oh, gosh, wait, I'm at one heart. Okay, never mind. It actually hurts me. Book boss, stay away. We were, we're not ready today. And just like that, that should be it for the book boss or the book block boss. That was something else. And we got a bunch of bottles of enchanting, which, oh, wait, I should have tried to make a bottle of enchanting block. What am I doing? And enchanted books, which are literally empty. The good news is we have the nine hearts. Bad news is I gotta fight that boss again and get bottles of enchanting again. All right, give me one sec, guys. Okay, so round number two. Okay, book boss, round two. All right, bo, 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 do your thing this time. Let's not get hit. And there we go. Okay, that was pretty much a speed run. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those bottles of enchanting, get those hearts, and um, because we have 12 of them and we can make a block, what happens if I eat a heart? Oh, it's literally a golden apple. Nice. And now finally, let's go ahead and make with nine hearts a heart block. And we can also make a bottle of enchanting heart, I think. <gasps> oh, that worked. Okay, there we go. Bottle of enchanting block. Its uses are enchanting. Maybe we should make some armor decks. So I think the next thing we'll do is actually make a iron armor block. And that's gonna be with the pants. Okay, so that's all the pants we have right there. And in total, we need four more pants. So give me one sec, guys. I'm gonna get a lot of iron. Okay, we got the pants. And now with the nine pants, we're making an iron leggings block. Okay, so what does this do? Oh, it shot out the armor. Oh, wait, more than one armor piece too. Okay, so this time it wasn't only pants, but I think we got a full set of armor. Yeah, we're stacked now. And now that we're a little bit geared up, let's see what the bottle of enchanting block does. Oh, wait, that's a lot of stuff. Stronghold block? Am I supposed to have this right now? I'm gonna save this for right now just because we don't have the eyes of Ender or anything yet, but definitely stay tuned for this thing. Holy. Okay, new plan. Let's make the next tier of sword block. It's gonna cost me a lot of diamonds, but I think this might be a good idea. Nine diamonds, and just like that, we get a diamond sword block. What the sword doing? Okay, it's been a while, so let's see what it does now. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of swords just like last time. Yet again, only I'm breaking three, but I'm gonna guess we get more swords now? Oh, we do. Oh, that's sick. Well, with that being done, let's go get some more books and see what the other XP options are. Okay, so I grinded a good bit and we ended up getting all the book blocks we'll ever need, so it's gonna be multiple steps to do this, but again, two book blocks. I'm gonna have to fight this guy again, which shouldn't be too hard, right? Oh, wait, why did I just break the bookshelves? I'm so dumb. That should have been the way I got the books. I literally went to get sugar cane again. Are you serious? Okay, thank you very much, hard guy. Again, one more time. It's actually a pretty good way of mining, actually, but my armor is helping me a lot actually fighting him. Still got down to five hearts, which kind of sucks, but now with that being done, let's real quick get the bottle of enchanting block and, um, do we get the XP or the crafting services or enchanting services? Enchanting services. Nice. For all my enchanting needs, and it's literally like a little enchant area with a lot of diamonds. Wait, what the heck? Okay, I did not expect that, but yes, don't mind if I do. Honestly, we have nothing to enchant right now because everything's already enchanted, so this is kind useless. And with that being done, let's finally get to the heart block. All right, what do you do? Wait, I absorb the extra hearts? Wait, we have 20 hearts now. Okay, that's gonna make things a lot easier. Okay, it's been long enough. Oh, I think it's finally time we try out this water block. So what exactly does this thing do? Wait, what? What is this thing? A wild mudkip has joined my party. He's kind of adorable. Look at him. Anyways, does the water block do anything else? Like, can I craft with this thing? Oh, wait, what is this? Nine times compressed water with the water block. Okay, and what is compressed water? So does it make like armor or something? Oh, that's broken. Water chest plate, which is pretty much netherite. Wait, can I do other stuff? I can make pants too. Oh wait, we can make a full set of water armor. Oh, okay. That's really good. Water sword, sharpness one, sweeping edge one. Who needs a diamond sword when you have a water sword? And now for the air block. Do I just like right click it? Oh wait, I can see through the world with this. Also, what does that sound? Is that a tornado in the cave? No, no, we, we are not dealing with that right now. I'm going to grab my air block real quick. And now I'm kind of curious. As long as the tornado stays over there, I'm going to be fine. Oh, it just Beard. Does this work? Oh, wait, it does. So now we get compressed air. Can I make like a pickaxe? Okay, so air can also be used for stuff, and we get an air pickaxe. All right, let's see what this thing does. Oh, okay, yep. It pretty much mines a big area. Nice. Okay, so I can make a golden apple block, which we gotta get some golden apples for. A golden boots block, which we definitely need a lot of golden boots for. So without further ado, I guess let's start making some gold boots. All right, all the boots, and there we go. Golden boots block. Is this gonna be like the pants, but now boots? What's better, iron armor or gold armor? I, I can never tell. Oh, and there they are. Okay, uh, oh man. Okay, wait, so the iron is better, actually, because we have thorns, and also it says plus six, and this is plus 
plus five. So I literally made this for zero reason. So give me one sec, guys. Let's get some more gold and then make the golden apple block. Luckily, there's some gold right there and there. Okay, let's just go to this. Also, wait, uh, we are the fast obsidian miners. So let's go, go ahead and grab that obsidian. Thank you very much. I'm gonna grab all of that, but literally no one's faster than me. There we go, though. But anyways, now that we have all the gold we need, let's go ahead and make nine golden apples. And with that being done, we get a golden apple block, the shiniest crunch. What does it do? Oh, that's a lot of gold. Wait, what the heck? What did I just make? It's like a giant castle of gold. Well, we're definitely rich now because we have a sack of gold blocks, but that's the golden apple block. And the next thing we definitely got to make is either the diamond block chest plate or the diamond block block. That's going to be so many diamonds. Oh, wait. So it only took nine diamonds, but now we have a diamond block block. Okay, just in case we make a castle accidentally again, let's go up real quick. Okay, diamond block block. What do you do? Wait, what the heck? A diamond golem ally has appeared? Oh, he walks and he drops diamonds, I think. Oh, every time I hit him, he drops diamonds. Why not? Let's just keep punching him and get all the diamonds we'll ever need. That actually works really nicely because the next thing we're going to be making, which is probably the thumbnail, is going to be the diamond chest plate block. So that's a lot of chest plates. We need a little bit more diamonds. So uh, my man, let me just grab as many diamonds as I can. It's literally just a big man with a bunch of diamonds. I killed him. I, I am so sorry. Oh my gosh. Rest in peace, diamond guy. We didn't even get to give him a name. That never happened. Is that going to be enough chest plates? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, we need one more. All right, let's become a nuke real quick. Give us the diamonds. Give the diamonds. And there we go. Okay, good old diamonds. Don't mind if I do. Let me go grab those. And that is going to be, I think, maybe enough. Well, let's grab as many as we can. Nine diamond chest plates. And just like that, we finally get it. The diamond chest plate block. Diamond plated block. Nah, diamond chest plated. Why is that thing? Okay. All right, so what does this do? Oh, wait, buffs and diamond armor. Oh, diamond armor. And I'm I'll be honest, guys, this diamond armor does not look as good as the iron armor. Let me know in the comments down below what's better, protection for iron boots or just normal diamond boots. I'm gonna grab the diamond boots just because they look better, but I'm not sure. Also, gonna grab those diamonds. All right, don't mind me. Let me just grab all the armor we can. Okay, the armor honestly was a bit of a downgrade, but we do look better, so that's good. And what we can do now is actually probably see if there's an obsidian block. Oh, there we go. The obsidian block with bold portal in a pinch. Do I just go ahead and place this thing down? Am I I guess right there. And what does it do now? Oh, it's literally a portal. Okay, so we can definitely go to the nether now. Let me see if I can make any other blocks before we leave. Yeah, okay, so we missed two items. We didn't make the flint and steel block, and we didn't make the diamond pickaxe block. So give me one sec, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get a lot of flint and also get a lot more diamonds again. All right, so we got the flint, we got the iron, and let's get the flint and steels. And with nine flint and steels, we get the flint and steel block, and we're not done there because we also gotta get the diamond pickaxe block. So before we do that, I gotta get some wood. So one sec. Okay, now that diamond pickaxes, we get a good old diamond pickaxe block. And which one should we do first? I mean, why not? Let's just go ahead and get the good pickaxe. Oh, forget that it does that. And so with that, we get a super diamond pickaxe. Vicious E10, again, the amazing enchant. And how does this one work? That's a way bigger hole than usual. Nice. Okay. And finally, let's go and try out the flint and steel block and then we can go to the nether. So what does this thing do? Oh, whoa. Wait, what the heck? Am I on lava right now? Oh, wait. I think this might be the lava block, guys. Wait, can I just mine it? <gasps> we have lava blocks. That is amazing. What happens when I place this then? Oh, lava elementals. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, 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 okay. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, that is a lot of lava elementals. Let's take care of these guys. Bo, bo, bo. Do your thing. And that's going to be for the lava elementals literally instantly. And they dropped, I'm going to guess, the material I need. Oh, compressed lava. Okay, let's see if I can make something with that. So, lava netherite chest plate. A lava chest plate. Um, I guess I'll put this on. Why not? Cool. We have a little lava effect. Okay, so there's actually a little bit more of it. So why not? Let's also make the pantalones. So that's going to be lava leggings and lava chest plate. And we look pretty good. I like that. And so with that being done, let's go to the nether. Look at that beautiful chest plate. Anyways, let's go. Okay, we are in and that is a very flat nether. What the heck? And oh, wait, what if I hit the piglin? Oh, I'm kind of curious. Okay, uh, do I just punch it? Oh, it worked. Piglin block, a literal block of piglins. Okay, so what does this do? Oh no, a mad wizard piglin has tracked you down. Oh, what the heck is that thing? I was not ready for this. Um, I don't know what the heck that thing is. It's poisoning me. Okay, this is actually a lot harder than the usual bosses. Guys, I might have to eat the Notch Apple. Yep, we're eating the Notch Apple. Okay, that should help us a good bit. Let's do as much damage as we can. What the heck is this battle? Oh, wait, can I throw him in lava? No, I can't throw him in lava. Dang it. Okay, I don't have any other weapon items, so this might be it. And just like that, that is gonna be it for the pig wizard, and he dropped some totems. This might be the way we make the totem block, guys. Okay, so just like that, we get the totem block. And actually, why not? Let's go ahead and place this thing down. Does it do anything? Did I just get scammed? Maybe I wasn't supposed to place it down in the nether? I'm gonna go ahead and 
and get another totem block by fighting another one of those bosses, and then I guess I'll try it in the overworld. All right, before we do that, let's go ahead and see if this is a thing. Oh, it is. Why is that a thing? Netherrack block. Caution explosives. I guess here we go. Oh, oh gosh, I should run away. Literally just a bomb. Nice. Wait, did it drop anything? Oh, I think it drops netherite. That's so OP. I mean, don't mind if I do. I will gladly take all these netherite ingots. That's going to be seven literally from one thing. And in the nether, we have a nether fortress block, which is pretty insane. And a netherite pickaxe block and also a netherite sword block. So we did get the netherite ingots and wait, that works. It's a little bit cursed, but apparently we can make netherite swords like that. So why not? Let's go ahead and get all the netherite swords we need. And to get netherite, I guess we'll just make a bunch of netherite blocks and just blow them up. All right. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, look out, buddy. And there we go. So again, get a bunch of swords and there we go. Okay. Netherite sword block. What does sword doing? This might be the last one that the sword be doing. And I guess what does it do this time? Oh, yep. That's a lot of netherite swords again. Final netherite sword. And it's um breaking three again. Really? I mean, can I still use this with the ability? Oh, I can. Wait, what about the netherite sword? Okay. That's a lot better. Okay. So with that being done, the only thing we really have left is getting a totem block again and finding a nether fortress block. Oh, wait, I wonder if there's a blaze block actually. Okay. Let's go find a fortress. All right. Up we go. And I guess I'm just going to go for the blaze right now. Oh, look at that. Okay. Blaze block. Oh, yes, it worked. Okay. So just like that, we get a blaze block. I guess I'll just place it down here. Oh, ability unlocked. Press M to shoot fireballs like a blaze. Oh, we can shoot fireballs. Oh, that's sick. And that leaves us with only the skeleton block and the stronghold block, I think, to make. So before I leave the nether, I'm going to go ahead and get another piglin block and fight that boss again and then try to totem block back in the overworld. All right. Give me one sec, guys. Okay. So nine totems yet again. And let's see if this thing actually works now. Do you do something? Oh, it worked. Oh, let's go. Okay. So it's a sword that falls from the sky. Maybe that's why it didn't work in the nether. Totem sword. Am I the chosen one? Sharpness 10. Sweeping edge 10. Each life taken is one gained. Lives undefined. Do I just like get a cow? Wait, I just killed something. Oh, lives one. Oh, that's sick. Okay. So finally, we only have two more blocks left that we haven't done yet. And that's the skeleton block and the stronghold block. I don't know why I haven't done the skeleton block till now, but we might as well do it. Let's go and place that down and oh, wait, does it just spawn a dinosaur? A fossil was discovered nearby. Hello. Oh, there's a villager dying inside. Okay, let me go up real quick. Oh, no, he died. Oh, that's so sad. Did another one spawn over there? Okay, let me figure out what these villagers are. And once we're done with that, we'll actually go ahead and spawn the stronghold one more time. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a skeleton villager. What the heck? Hey, what's up? Skeleton villager. He looks interesting. Nice. Uh, do you trade? Oh, okay. That's a lot of good trades. Um, oh, wait. That's actually really OP. One bone block. And we get an eye vendor. Okay, let me get all the bone blocks I can. All right, don't mind me. Just about to grab every single eye vendor in the world. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, he doesn't sell them anymore. Oh, we can bake that easily. Another one of these. And where did they spawn? Oh, they're all the way over there. Give me those eyes of ender. I think we should be good there. And can I get bones from bone blocks? Oh, wait, that's a scam. So we can't get ender pearls. Well, on the bright side, we got the stronghold block. Let's go ahead and place this and see what happens. Do I just throw it? Wait, what happens now? Oh, that happened so quick. All of a sudden, we got the stronghold. And now we just got to find the portal room. I'm going to guess it's like up here. Oh, here we go. Put in the eyes of ender and finally through the power of our custom blocks. Let's go fight the final dragon. Wait, there's no boss bar again. And yet again, this place is looking very sus. Wait, why is there a chest up there? I do not trust this at all. Why is it the exostorial block? The last time I placed this thing, it just said like and subscribe. Wait, what is it going to do now? I guess here goes nothing. What the heck? What happened to these dragons? Better look after the eggs. Why couldn't it just be a normal ending? Wait, can I, can I ride this guy? I can ride him. Oh, that's sick. Okay, what, what about these dragons? Do, do I like right click them or something? Oh, I do. Wait, dragon eggs. I think this might be how I make the final dragon egg block, guys. All right, let's collect all these bad boys real quick. There we go. Okay, nine dragon eggs. And now with our little pet dragon, I guess we'll do whatever the final thing is. Dragon egg block. The end must be used in the end. There's a question mark though, so I'm very sus about it. All right, I guess here goes nothing. Oh, okay. Of course it's not a dragon. The umbral wither is the final boss. Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, I'm getting in my dragon. Let's go dragon. Oh, it's trying to eat me. Holy, this thing is actually so OP. Oh, my arrow's not hurting it. Oh no, I can't hit it on the dragon. I gotta get off of it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Get over here, umbral wither. Couple more hits. And yes, just like that, guys. That is gonna be it for Minecraft. I added more custom blocks. So with that being done, hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. Here's a video just like this one. Bye, guys.